So you might have Discord, Spotify, and a whole bunch of other sites themed on your desktop, but when you're in your browser and you try to go on these applications, they aren't themed. They just kind of look plain and boring. Well, there's an application, or an extension, sorry, called Stylus that will allow you to customize any website that you want. So go to the first link in the description and you will see Stylus. So we're gonna click Add Extension. Now, I know most of you probably don't wanna code your own CSS theme from scratch, and that's why we're going to go to the second link in the description. It is a GitHub archive of user styles. Now, user styles itself is actually a very slow website, so fortunately we have someone that kind of backed it up. So, to start off, how do you theme certain things? Well, you could scroll through this whole entire web page and find stuff that you like, which is a very helpful way of getting ideas. You could see that there's a Nyan Cat YouTube progress bar, Roblox themes, a lot of Roblox themes, a lot of YouTube themes as well. You can choose whatever you want, but I'm gonna show you how to apply it to a couple of special websites and a little bit of scenarios that you might get caught up on. So to start off, we wanna theme Spotify. So I'm going to search for Spotify just in the main thing, and you will see a whole bunch of stuff. Now there's Spotify++, and if I try opening it up, you'll see, well, what does it do? You might be a little confused. And that's because, to be completely honest, this archive is great for installing the theme, but not for configuring it. If you want to configure the theme, you need to click on the userstyles.org link. So I'm going to open it up in a new tab. Once you go to userstyles.org, you click the customize settings, and this will allow you to change a whole bunch of settings. So there's condensed navbar, blurred overlays. You get to customize the settings and make it however you want. And once you fully customize it, just click install style, click OK and it'll say style installed. Now, if I open up Spotify, and I might have to refresh here, it can happen, nothing happened. And that's because, like I said before, sometimes these themes don't work, so your mileage may vary. If your theme doesn't work, you may need to just go back, go to a different theme. This one, for example, I know works, so I'm gonna click on it, and let's say I don't wanna customize it, I'm gonna click install right here, and click install style. And all I need to do is go back to Spotify and you'll see that the theme has applied. Mind you, themes will always be buggy because websites are consistently changing. But as of now, it's, it's a pretty good middle ground. So moving on, we have Discord, which has way better support compared to a lot of the other applications. So if we go back to the archive, which I'm just going to close off the other tabs I had, and I'm going to search for Discord. Now, once you find something you like, you know, you could click view and add, but I'm going to focus on clean Discord, and it's because clean Discord is like that Spotify, you can customize a whole bunch of settings. So I'm going to click on view, scroll all the way down, and go to userstyles.org, because I want to customize it. Maybe I don't want to have the bow and arrow girl as my background, which is completely fine. And once the website loads, which took me two minutes, I had to cut it, you will see the same thing. Now you could install it and it will look exactly how the thumbnail looks, but I wanna customize it. So customize settings, and now you can change backgrounds, which is the main appeal to this specific theme. I'm going to go down to the animated one called Blossom, because it looks extremely nice, and click on that. Now there's user tab matching backgrounds and all this other stuff, and from my experience, they don't really change anything, but that obviously varies with every single theme. I can't go through each and every single one. But towards the bottom, you'll see channel sliding animation and member sliding animation. Now, if we scroll up to the thumbnail, you notice that the channels are gone and the users are gone. This animation thing, if you enable it, basically makes it so if you hover over the little empty gap here, the channels will pop up and the same thing with the users. And I want that, so I'm gonna keep them on. And once I check everything that I want, click install style, the same thing applies, it'll say okay. And all you need to do is wait until this says applied style. It may take a bit because once again, it's on a slow domain. It takes forever. And once it installs, which might take about 30 or so seconds, just go back to Discord and you'll see now it's themed and looks exactly how I customized it, which is nice. Now, one last thing, Roblox. I only added Roblox in here for one specific reason, and it's because I want to advertise on how good I am at Roblox. So to start off, we're going to look for a Roblox theme. And I've tried Roblox theme doodle clouds, and I'm gonna try it again because there is an issue with themes that will always pop up all the time. If you click install, you click install, and you go back to Roblox, you'll notice, wow, this looks like garbage. And that's because some of these themes are made by other people, and obviously everyone's coding capabilities are varied. So you may encounter an ugly looking theme, and if that's the case, you could try going into the CSS. So if I click install again, you could try modifying all of this to match and make it perfect, or you could just pick a different theme. 
But in any case, that's everything. And feel free to add me on Roblox. No text-to-speech, no spaces. And I will whoop your ass on Big Paintball. Completely random, but this is a montage of me absolutely destroying 10-year-olds on their iPads. So let's say this Roblox theme looks like garbage and we just want to get back to the default Roblox. All we need to do is go to the top right, click on extensions, right click on stylus, and we need to click manage. Once you go to manage, you'll see all the themes that you installed. Now on the right, it will show the URLs that it applies to. So we have the Discord theme that we had, we had the Spotify theme, we had two of them actually, and we had the Roblox theme. I am going to press X on the Roblox theme and delete it. And when I go back to Roblox, it'll be nice and normal except with these really weird ads. Let's say you want to remove stylus from your whole entire browser. You just want to go back to the plain and simple Discord and the plain and simple Spotify and whatever websites you choose. All you need to do is go up to the top right, click on the three dots on the dropdown for stylus and click remove from Chrome. Click remove and you'll notice that if you go to Discord, wait, it's still stuck on here. Just give it a quick refresh. And once you refresh it, it'll go back to normal. Same thing with Spotify. You may need to just refresh the page and it will be nice and back to normal. Now, if you do add me on Roblox on 1v1 me, you get a nice, beautiful kiss. Mwah. If you didn't, uh, that's completely fine. I still love you too. Mwah. Have a great one.